This is a Springfield Armory 1911A1. It's a 45 ACP caliber pistol, and this is actually Springfield Armory's uh, TRP model. It originally came with the G10 uh, grips on it, but I didn't I didn't prefer those grips. Actually, I found the uh, the wooden grips from Springfield Armory um, to be much more of a of a comfort in, in my particular use. But uh, uh, nonetheless, the rest of the pistol is actually stock. It doesn't have the uh, the light rail. I opted not for that for this particular model. Um, but I have been very pleased with the other appointments, which I want to point out simply uh, just before field stripping. Um, right here you have your slide release lever just above your trigger here. You have a uh, trigger that allows you to actually tune the um, travel on it, so it's a nice, uh, nice trigger for 1911. At the base of the trigger guard here you have your uh, rounded magazine release button, and then just behind that you actually have your thumb activated uh, safety right here, which can be uh, clicked into the safe position when the hammer is cocked and back, which I'll demonstrate in just a moment. And then finally you have your uh, your grip safety as with all your 1911s where the grip actually has to be depressed uh, to allow the to allow the firing pin to cycle. Now as I flip this particular pistol around and allow the users uh, to look at this ambidextrous thumb safety, I'm going to cock the hammer so that it allows you to see uh, the actuation of that safety. So now with the hammer cocked, um, either thumb, whether you're right-handed or left-handed, uh, you can actually put that thumb safety in the into the on position. And then finally, on the right-hand side of the pistol, there's really not a lot of bells and whistles on it. There's only your uh, um, uh, release uh, button right here, which actually is a pin that comes through through the firearm itself, and you use the uh, slide release lever here to start to take down the pistol, which I'll demonstrate very shortly. And of course, you have both rear cocking uh, serrations and also front. Uh, to allow the, the user, depending on um, how you're cocking the, or, or racking the slides, you can you know you get better grip up front or, or towards the rear. And probably one of the last notes that I want to point out, and you can just see this on some of your nicer 1911s, is that the magazine well is actually beveled, so that allows you and I'll and I'll eject the magazine here with with that with that button over here. So as I depress this, your magazine is going to come out. Now I have some some aftermarket Wilson magazines in here, but uh, Nonetheless, you can see here that it's, it's beveled in this section. That really helps uh, the user as they're as they're shooting to put uh, to help that magazine. Even if you're a little bit off, it kind of self guides into that into that slot to allow the user to um, reload in a little bit faster manner. So nonetheless, uh, there are no rounds in the magazine and also in the follower. And then I'll simply take take the 1911 here, uh, take it off safe, and I'll actually uh, pull the slide back and, and lock it so that you can also see there are no uh, no rounds in the chamber as well. Now that being said, now that the pistol is actually cocked and and ready to be taken down, uh, the first thing you want to do that I found in the TRP is it actually has a very unique um, guide rod here at the bottom, and that is uh, the guide rod cannot be uh, removed except with the use of an Allen Allen wrench, which was provided uh, because it's a, a tighter tolerance pistol here, and so that simply comes in here, and now you can start to to unscrew. Uh, the guide rod, and so once that is unscrewed, that simply comes right out, and now you can start what you would call your typical disassembly uh, of your 1911. So what we'll do here is we're going to start with the front bushing here, and I'm actually going to depress uh, this part here, which has all your spring tension underneath it, and rotate this bushing section to the side to allow that to come out. I'm going to be very careful when you do that, so that as you set this to the side, um, that doesn't take off once you've cleared the bushing and you lose your uh, your spring or some of your components inside there, or in my particular case, you know, cracking the lens of the camera or something by, by shooting that right at the viewers. So as I push this down, and there's actually quite a bit of pressure on the spring, it's a high quality spring, you know, it allow you to slightly move, if I can show that slowly, with now the bushing is pushed down a little bit, and you can see I've started to rotate it out of the way, and then as I'll continue, I'll put a little pressure on that, the bushing will rotate um, fully to the side here, and I will very slowly release the, uh, <coughs> the rest of the spring pressure here uh, with both my hands very slowly and then now that front piece which is the follower which comes here uh, on your spring uh, can now also be set aside. So with the bushing rotated aside and the spring exposed and the pistol is off safe because now it allows the slide to come back if your thumb safety is on uh, you can't rotate it backwards now when it's off it allows the slide to move rearward and there's a little notch. There's a bigger notch for your primary slide catch, and there's a smaller notch for your takedown. As you rotate the slide, or rotate as you as you bring the slide back um, to its rear position, and you get that smaller notch lined up with the top of that, it actually allows you now to push on that 
uh, detent ball on the back, which will simply now have your takedown lever slash your slide release be able to come out, at which point now the pistol will be able to have the slide be removed from the frame. But so simply it will come right off. And so now you have your, your frame, and that's as far as you get down field strip. And now there's three remaining components of your pistol. You have your um, second part of your, your guide rod and your spring, and those can come apart, uh, which I can briefly show you right here. That spring just simply can come right off, and these are your two components for your guide rod that, that screw when it's all together, and so that can stay apart here. And then finally you have uh, your slide, which has your bushing and your barrel. So now if the bushing is rotated to the opposite side slightly, it allows the, the bushing to be removed, and then the barrel with the, with the toggle, or excuse me, the link in the, in the, in the forward position, it will allow that not to be removed through the front, and that's a, a hand-fitted hand -fitted barrel here in this case. And so, so I kind of lay these components out as they're, as they're demonstrated internal to the pistol. So you can get a little bit of an idea kind of how all this looks uh, inside the workings of it. You have your, your frame, of course your slide release, then you have your guide, you have your spring, you have your spring uh, retainer, you have your bushing, you have your barrel, and then you also have your, your slide itself. And putting this back together in essentially the same order is making sure that your, uh, your uh, link here on your, on your barrel is down. It simply slides now right back through the front and that will drop right in place here, right in place to your pistol. Now I, I typically put the bushing on next, and so as I put that bushing on here, it allows it to rotate all the way to the side now, at which point I'll put the spring back on the rear half of, of the guide rod, simply see that through um, the front section of the pistol, and bring that back here to um, where the link is, right here, at which point now it's ready to go back on to the frame of the pistol, so simply take this and slide it. If I can line it up here upside down. Uh, sorry for the sorry for the confusion. And simply slide that back onto here. And once again, leave this little notch. Pull it back to the point where uh, now it's lined right up with that square where your um, <clears throat> takedown lever slash your slide release is coming in. That comes in. And I'll simply uh, push up a little bit on this. There's actually a, a retaining spring right here for it. And so as I push that down, and that locks right in place there, now I can put the, put the slide in the forward position. And when I do that, the rest of the components are now ready to come into it. So I'll simply turn this uh, towards the viewers so that they can see here's your spring, here's your, here's your retainer uh, for your spring. And I'm going to push that down as I do. I'm going to rotate this over until it catches right on one of the shelves here of that, of that retainer. So as I, as I push that down and rotate over just a little bit, now I no longer have to have to push my thumb on that retainer, I simply will push it farther down and allow that semicircular uh, notch now to drop into that. So if I push that down a little bit more, it allows that to come across kind of at a midway point here. And then I continue to push that down. You can see here it will finally allow it to kind of snap back in place and then your final component here, your other half of your, um, of your guide rod can put in here and simply take the Allen and you can tighten that up. And so here, now you have your now you have your 1911 and it's reassembled and once again uh, no rounds in the chamber here has your uh, has your night sights um, I don't know if the the viewers at home can kind of pick up on that but uh, sights are, are, are rather good in my opinion the last comment that I'll make about the TRP that I've noticed a uh, user has to be very careful is there's um, very good front uh, strapping here checkered strap, uh, strapping that's uh, actually put in by a CNC machine and uh, it's actually very good for a uh, user for keeping grip. But what I've found is if you allow um, your smaller finger to kind of drop down right here in this area, and that's also right where the magazine, when it's inserted, kind of can come up and bump. It'll allow you to kind of get uh, bit right there from time to time, um, right down here where the last neural part is and where that magazine comes in. You can see how it creates kind of like a natural pinch point right there where it can catch your finger. So that's the only thing that I would I would caution anybody about um, when they have a 1911 that has you know that kind of uh, front front strapping like that. But uh, nonetheless, this is the Springfield Armory 1911 A1 uh, pistol, it's their TRP model, and it's a 45 uh, ACP. And this was the 
a brief demonstration of the field stripping and some of the appointments on it. Thank you for watching.